So hi all. Recently, we connected on the live session where we have discussed some of the point where why the layoffs are happening, how we can be in a safe zone because of all that. So these are the point we actually discussed. At that time, we forgot to do the recording. So that's why I'm recording this again. So just like whatever the points you guys have mentioned or I have put out, right? So those points I have just noted down over here. So that I'm going to explain now. Because the market is changing, we have to be aware like what is happening and what is not. As a web developer, because see, when someone says like market is changing, it is considering everything. Let's say for a backend developer, for a frontend developer, for day ops, for any, let's say everything. But just focused on the web developer, like either we are a .NET developer, Java developer, React or even Angular or any, like which are, we, uh, we are the developers who are kind of creating admin kind of application. And in this kind of era, AI plays a very different role rather than everywhere, right? So what, what are the major points what we should focus? First, see, first is like AI changing and the developer role also. Previously, what used to happen when we talk about web development, most of the, let's say 80% web development happens in the admin kind of application where we have some banking application, insurance application, let's say logistic or medical or anything, right? Wherever, let's say now some of the application where we have some data display, which is happening from some IoT, so many things are happening. But what AI is actually doing, so when we talk about either it's a co-pilot or even lovable or even chat GPT, most of we are going to use co-pilot because almost all companies like let's say MNC, they are giving you the access of co-pilot. So co-pilot, what it does, it understands the whole of your project. What are the roles? What are the, what is the structure you have in your project? Do you have many micro front end architecture implemented or is it a monolithic? Everything, whatever your project structure is, it can understand everything. And based on that knowledge, whenever you are writing also, it will, it is going to prompt you or it is going to intelligence also like what you should write. If you are doing something mistake also, now still it is going to show you like this is wrong, right? So AI is helping us in ev completing every small, small task also. So not just code suggestion, let's say, even though you don't use the AI, you write your code by your own, but to help it optimize also, we use AI, right? So we cannot say like AI is not changing. It's one of the major reason why AI is one of the main reason of the layoff happening. Right. So now when we talk about development, actually, so let's say either your scrum master or your manager or your client also. They are also expecting you not to write the whole code. They have provided you the access of Copilot. So they want you to use the Copilot and speed up the development process. Right? So you can see this is the main reason. And when from think of from the client perspective, they don't want so many developers to work on the same job. They want the min they want to reduce the number of developers because AI is there, because consider a task. Don't forget, like, uh, just forget, like, AI was not there. Let's say if we talk about just, uh, we have a table and above the table, you just have a text box and you want to filter the data from that table. At least it would have taken one day to complete all the positive and the negative scenarios and everything do that in a proper way. But by using AI, you can do that in next one hour also. At least basic code will, basic code or basic not, just the advanced code you will also get. Then remaining is just the testing. So development time is getting less by the use of AI, right? So this is one of the main reason we are seeing that layoffs are happening. So what you can do, be aware, like what tools are there, even from, what do we say, code review. Previously, code review used to be done by your senior or your TL or anyone, right? But now so many AI tools are there, which helps you to do the code review also. We have to set out the number of rules, what we have to follow. It will validate your code and it will provide the reviews also. So when that some time of your senior, we are reducing by the use of AI, right? So be aware of Copilot, what it can do, right? When you should take the help of it, right? It should not be like for every code you are going to the Copilot. So ultimately you are making your habits wrong, right? You will be forgetting your basic concept after some days if you are going with that direction, right? Second point is basic fundamentals. So previously it was like, Either it's a database means a front end developer, back end developer. There are some basic fundamental we should know. Let's say if we just 
talk about web developer. So like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, these were your basic fundamental, then either you master in Angular or React or Vue or Next.js, anything, right? Or even if you are a .NET or Java developer, your concepts, the basic concept were there. But now your basic fundamentals are changing. So you should be aware about the Gen AI, what is Gen AI, right? Cloud, at least basic terminologies. What is cloud? What do we need to, what should we be aware as a web developer when it comes to cloud, right? So these things are be, uh, being the new basic fundamentals. So you should be aware about this also. Now. Bench people, like in the session also, so many people have talked about like they are on the bench from last, uh, let's say somewhere, somewhere from the MNC, they said like one year also, somewhere from three to four months. So when you are on the bench now, doesn't matter if you are on the MNC or the small scale company, use your time properly, master your own technology, whatever technology you are currently working on, try to learn any supporting technology. Let's say you are a web developer, you are currently working on Angular. But related technologies will be Next.js, React.js, right? Vue.js. Because if you are in the Angular, means you are a web developer. So you should be aware about all these related frameworks also. So use your bench time properly because what happens whenever there is a constraint in the budget, first people which are going to be laid off is like the bench people. So don't be sit idle in the bench period. Use that bench period properly to upskill your technologies, right? Fine. Again, one more major, like some of the guys have mentioned, like they are getting put in the P, uh, PIP, like performance improvement, right? So you, those who are in the MNC, they know like what is PIP and how managers also use that. Apart from the politics, even though you are working on a project, right? But let's say you are not performing that well, or your manager also thinks you are performing, you know you are performing, but manager has some issue with you. He can put you in the PIP. He will manage everything. So many examples we have seen, right? So make sure you are billable, you are working on properly. Okay, again, I'm going to uh, provide some points also. Office presence, right? So now everyone knows like whatever the benefits we got because of Corona, that is over now. You have to visit your office. Either it's a hybrid mode or whatever a company is asking you now, make sure you are, be, you are following that. Either they are saying for two days or three days, B, visit your office to three days or four days, whatever they are saying. Because see, whenever there is a chances of uh, uh, cutting the resources, first target will be the people who are not coming to office because it's like you are not following your office policies, right? So try to visit the office. Anyway, if you are not doing right now, after some days you have to do it. So be in a habit that visiting office, make it normal. Right. Again, there are so many advantages also. And you will also agree when you work from the office, you are more focused and you are more dedicated to the work. You can get the so much of output when you are in the office. You can also, you also know when you work from the home and when you work from the office, there is a sudden change. So much of focus is there when you are in the office. And again, you reach out to your people, team, you connect with different team members also. So if you are on the, if you are offboarded from any project, obviously you get connection in your current other project also. So you can look out for a, uh, you, you can ask and visit their project also. You can ask like there is a, there is any vacancy or not in your project. So increase your physical appearance in the offices. That's a mandatory one. Then budget cuts and optimization. So now, as I said, like clients, what they're expecting, they're providing the access of co-pilot, right? So by using co-pilot access, the work can be done. Let's say a work was there, which would have required three days, but now it can be done in one day. So obviously they don't need that many people to work on a particular project. So they are reducing their budget. If you're working on MNC, you might be uh, hearing like on account level or any client level, they have reduced the budget this year. Everywhere it, this is happening because client don't want to spend so much of time. Let's say if we talk about co-pilot, what it is around $32. So get a $32, $32 license to a developer is very easy instead of hiring so much of, let's say, whatever the budget, right? According to the project, our billing is very different. But $32 is very sufficient for any client to get so that they can increase the development speed. And all everyone is doing the same. So that's why they are reducing the budget. Ultimately, they are reducing the people required. So AI is not actually reducing, replacing you or re reducing the job. It's just number of people required they are reducing because of whatever happening, right? Again, one more point, 
it's just not like we have got copilot or we have got perplexity or we have got chat gpt or any uh, lovable or anything but they are also in the race like microsoft is recently checking the copilot thing like what number of technologies are mostly using it and for what purpose they are using it so might be possible that let's say so much of people are using copilot for angular or react for doing some things which are repeated and again so they might come up with some agents that might be help you to do that again there is a race also happening in the ai also so we have to keep up with them also correct now one more major point we mostly discuss is like how difference is there when you are a fresher and when you are an experienced developer so we disc so many people have shared this like when we are when we are in the range of 7 to 9 years of experience obviously we have a family so much of work is there so much of daily activities are also there apart from the work so our focused or our learning ability will be lacking somewhat but when it comes to fresher even though they have so much of time compared to us and their mind is fresh any new things if they want to learn they can learn it quickly obviously it will take some time for us because obviously we are having so much of going on we have a project also we have to know the domain knowledge and everything and apart from that if you someone asked us to learn new language we also hesitate because we don't have time and our mind is also not that much free so that is also reason like let's say tcs is doing the uh, budget uh, laying off right right so that is the reason they said that we are letting go only the people who are having more experience but they said like they are going to hire new people also so obviously they are not going to hire again the new experienced people they will be hiring more into fresher right so because of this race so many big companies has a lot of fresh talent with them and whenever a new project is there they can go with their client like these are the resources we have which are fresh and they are ready to work with ai and they can get work done right so small companies are also living behind again one more point to mention like everyone agreed that tcs has started the laying off but by taking that example so many companies are going to stop what do we say your increment appraisal and everything because they will say at least they will delay or some companies will also skip appraisal this year also saying that see the tcs are actually letting their people go but we are actually we are not actually asking you to let go but at least we are due to market strength they will stop your appraisal or increment this year this is also going to happen two or three guys already shared that that their companies are doing that right so make sure be ready for that also for this year again one of the major point was demand for a full stack so considering like we almost had a react and angular developer and dot net developer and somewhat java developer were also there so everyone said like doesn't matter you are from a ui or you are from a backend everyone is asking you to do everything including some of guys mentioned like they are asked to do the unit testing also their project doesn't have a their client doesn't approve for another tester only developer has to consider all the positive and the negative scenario and in, apart from unit testing everything they has to deliver right so if you are a .net developer or a java java developer learn angular or react so that not in a deep but at least basic understanding you should have and for angular or your react or a vue developer get a basic knowledge of any backend technology either .net or java if you are very well uh, if you are good in programming go for a java if you are not that confident go for a .net .net is relatively easy to understand quickly fine so these were the major point what we discussed and everyone contributed so we got this major eight points right now some suggestions we have got from so many people like first is like don't be just limited to your coding shift your just coding to problem solving system design product thinking right so don't be just limited to whatever the task you get and you are completing that and that's okay everyone is going to do that but if you want to stay noticed you have to go beyond that whenever any task is there try to think of any different solution or different approach to that particular thing right be proactive in suggesting ideas not just waiting for the jira ticket again same thing if you are just limited yourself to working on the jira ticket when it comes to the budget cut you will be the first person because no one knows apart from your normal development what extra thing you have put it over there 
so talk in your scrum call maintain your presence this is very important nowadays you have to keep visible even client should know your name that yeah this guy was working he has suggested many things even your manager should think no we cannot lose him right so that should be the image of you in the team then only you will be saved or you will be backed by your manager otherwise you will let go right so be sure don't sit ideal don't keep mum you have to keep talking in the scrum call any uh, requirement gathering happenings that retrospective everywhere you have to maintain your presence that you are there you are actively participating right so so again that same point if you are not visible not communicative not consistently improving you are at the higher risk again as we are in the it industry we have to keep learning master your own own stack learn related technologies also right one more thing grow your network tab that will help you like we have a one channel where so many people have joined people are sharing someone if someone is stuck there they are helping each other right so grow your linkedin network or your in your company also don't be just limited to your current project see across your uh, what do we say desk what other project people are setting what they are doing what technology they are learning let's say if your project doesn't have vacancy you can at least have a another member from your project another project also right so considering current market make sure like you have these points in your mind in your mind keep working like that learn new technologies don't be sitting ideal right we know that market is very strange but these are the things which you should work on at least see everything we cannot end in our hand but these are the things which are in our hands we should do it right so yeah uh, that's it so we had a very great session but actually we forgot to record that so whatever we discussed what everyone has provided i have mentioned i have tried to cover that over here fine so again if you have some points or some points i have missed just drop in a comment everyone will be happy to help you also with their inputs fine thank you guys that's all